Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about how visually challenged person can read and write. Okay, some persons including children can be visually handicapped. Okay, they have very limited vision to see things. Some person cannot see at all from or since birth. Okay, some persons may lose their eyesight because of a disease. Such persons try to identify things by touching and listening to voices more carefully. And there is a system called as Braille system made for visually handicapped persons. Okay, in which system one can read the structure means one can read if I write here C A T cat. So how C will represent in this system and is called as Braille system. So let me write how so we will draw this two columns and three rows of dash and how C will represent is a two dot dots and how a will represent on this system is by a single dot dot. So there are 63 dot patterns or characters. Okay, and how T is represent on this system is so T is represent. So there is different notation for all of the characters. Okay. Each character represent a letter, a combination of letter and a common word or a grammatical sign. Dots are arranged in cell of two vertical rows. So there are two vertical rows or you can say two vertical columns. Two vertical columns and three rows. Okay. So these patterns when embossed on braille sheets help visually challenge persons by touching so these are somewhat embedded so you can feel it or there are two dots so this helps visually challenge person to read and write also ok students so braille code for common language he was a mathematician and a scientific notation and a scientist ok so many Indian languages can be read and write using Braille system. Okay students, now I hope that you are pretty clear about how visually challenged persons can read and write. Okay, and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this, then students please do comment in the comment section. I will be happy to help you guys there. Thank you. Happy learning.